this may come in handy. Beebly? Not talking to me, huh? Hi, Morgane. Hello, Sonny. Maria and I rescued Juan and the others from the pit. Oh, really? I don't see them anywhere. I told them to lie low until it was safe. Huh, how convenient. Why do you like this? I found your pendant, didn't I? Hi, Sancha. Hello. I visited Adabe, and I think he's dying. Oh, no. This must be why I have such bad feelings. Is there anything you can do? I will gather the other islanders and will make offerings. The effect will not be permanent, but the offerings will help. People are not already too late. Isn't there something else we could do? In order to do more, you would have to undo the curse. To borrow. I have the spell ingredients. Even the heart of the island? Yes, it's a piece of bark from the ancient tree. Of course, I should have realized. How do I make the spell? I left a mortar near the campfire. Use that to mix the ingredients and grind them to a paste. Use the flower. That's gross. up very nicely. I was expecting some kind of disgusting smell. Have I done it okay? Dry the mixture over the campfire and grind it to a powder. Here, put the powder in this. Thanks, Jabaro. Now, how do I cast the spell? Listen carefully. You must get one eye to accept back the eye willingly. He's not going to do that if he sees what it is. Once he's accepted it, say the following. Accept back your sacrifice. May the fate of the island now be decided by... Then speak the name of the one you wish to give control to. Okay, I've got that.
I will use this box to hide one eye's missing eye. Hi, Morgane. Hello, Sonny. I found the spell to cast over One Eye. It will undo the curse on the island. One Eye has threatened to kill you if he sees you. I know it's a risk, but I have to cast that spell. You couldn't get close enough to do so. Your blonde hair is too much of a giveaway. I'll find a way of disguising my hair. Sonny, I'm sorry I got angry with you. That's okay. You don't need to. When you disguise your hair, meet me at my ship. I have a plan to get you closer to one. Hi, Elvis. Hi, my home. What do you use to dye your hair? I'm, uh, sure I don't know what you mean, ma'am. Really? Your hair is naturally black? I... <clears throat> well, okay. I use some stuff I invented myself. Could I have some, please? You want to dye that beautiful blonde hair? The fate of the island is at stake. Huh. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? I bet you always wanted to be a brunette. Why, you... Yes. Okay. That's it. Here you go, ma'am. Thank you very much. What makes you think I want to be there? It doesn't matter. Really? Captain One-Eye wants you there. Or he'll take it out on the Islanders. I'm not what you become mayor. You killed my father. I never killed him. He was the best captain I ever served under. Oh, really? Better than One-Eye? I'd swap the two of them in an instant. Alessandro was like a brother. You were the one who killed him, your own father! Not that again. This is ridiculous. You may fool the others, but that won't work with me, Morgan. Someone saw you kill him. That's how I know it. Make sure you're there at the ceremony. Or even better, don't show up so I'll have a reason for killing you. Diablo must be really angry. He didn't notice me here. Hi, Morgane. Hello, Sonny. That was some argument you had with Diablo. We've been blind all along. I don't understand. Diablo and I have long hated each other, but it stopped us seeing the true picture. Hmm. One eye? It makes sense now. When I killed my father! Let me guess. He told each of you he saw the other murder Alessandro, leaving you and Diablo to blame each other. But the only one who was there when your father died was One Eye. Oh, I feel sick. To think I once nearly accepted his offer. What will you do? Kill him, of course. You can't kill One Eye until the curse is lifted. No! Of course! I must wait. You don't know what might happen if you killed him. It's the one thing that stayed my hand all these years. I found something to disguise my blonde hair! A wig? No! Elvis gave me some hair dye! Elvis dyes his hair? 
Sorry. I didn't mean to shatter your illusions. If I don't go to the ceremony, the islanders will suffer. But if I go, I may kill one eye before you cast your spell. You must go in my place. How can I go to the ceremony in your place? With your hair dyed, we'll disguise you to look like me. How will that help? One eye has poor eyesight. The disguise will fool him long enough for you to get close. Which will allow me to cast a spell. Exactly. I have hidden the eye in a little box. Perfect. Let us get ready on board my ship. 